Was it 2012 I went to preach in the country? And while I was praying in the night, preparing for the second service, the Lord spoke to me. In fact, he appeared to me and said, I've made you one of the fathers of the African revival. It's a long story, but that's the part I want you to hear. So when he told me that, I went to the pastor and said, Pastor, sorry. I know you are going through a lot of pains to see how you can gather prophet offering to give me. No. Rather, I noticed that your sound was not good. We'll buy sound today. That's the way a father thinks. Their money is quacha. One quacha. Then was 32 naira. So as dead as a naira is, imagine how the quacha feels like. Quacha. So I gave 500 US dollars. How many quacha was it? Calculate that. 500 US dollars. ST, come up with what it is. Okay. Well, it was more than 200,000 kwacha. And I gave more than everybody. In fact, I, probably more than the whole congregation put together. I said, all right, let's get sound. You, you are preaching good, good gospel. You need good sound to project your gospel. So I left that place with that prophet offering. Because God told me, I've made you one of the fathers of the African revival. My flight ticket, as at 2012, to that nation and back, it was eight hours flight time, to that nation and back, as at that time, was 247,000. Do that trip now, in the current state of the Naira, 700 something thousand. I flew Kenya Airways. How are we going to colonize Africa with the gospel of the kingdom if we are handicapped and we are stricken by poverty? I found a way out. You must force God to bless you. You must. I assure you. Listen to me. Listen. Yeah, I know you are, you are laughing. Let me tell you the truth. There is no plan for you. <laughs> there is no plan for you. You will plan for yourself. Yes. You plan for yourself by cutting covenant with God. If not, your name is not anywhere for anything. Don't wake up and say God is for you. No. No, no. He has. <laughs> he has. He has released the responsibility that will make you a custodian of financial matters. He has released it to your your hand. The way of the kingdom is the way of sacrifice. A man without sacrifice does not have a future. By design, the life of mortal man is designed to be insufficient. The best you can do will not survive the winter. And so what we do, what wise men do is that they cut covenant with God. His own supplies never come to an end. So we trade our insufficiencies so that we can get his sufficiency. That's how we survive. Over and above the economy. Over and above the rule and reign of a tyrant. We survive. Because we are plugged into something that cannot die. Force God to bless you. Force it. A politician was coming here so the politician came to me and said oh, so you're doing a great job here yeah. great job okay how can we how can we help out I said all right uh, you know we need a mechano gener gener generator and that will run on uh, two million naira and as you can see the temperature of Makodi is somehow on the high side and if the people of God are going to fellowship with Jesus without distraction, we need to ventilate the place with air conditioning units. And uh, at that time, it was two million to make it happen. So what's the total? Four million. When I said that, the politicians stopped coming. <laughs> now, because they challenge, <laughs> you know with me, a politician is not ready to cut covenant with Jesus. It was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, to all those pastors that went and washed our linen in government house politicians have what they spend their money for and that's why I will never wear my car to go to government house if the governor needs to see a preacher 
a, a, a genuine preacher. This is my address. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> Some of you might think it's pride. We are the ones that have made the gospel cheap. Custodians of blessings, they don't go around looking for men. If you spend enough time with God, your, he will cause your face to shine. Politician took off. When he found out that the bill was what? Was four million. Then I took on the challenge. I said, I don't need a politician. You know what I did? I took a loan. And we bought that generator fix this then I went to him and said we fix the air condition your people are happy it took seven days for him to answer seven. yes seven days have you done anything because of his name before or have you done anything because of his people that's the reason why you did it not because of anything that you stand to gain such is the way of the kingdom the kingdom has advanced because our ancestors were men that 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 served beyond self oh my god oh my god many of them gave their lives in order for this bible to get to us today we will not do less it may not be that we'll shed blood but in many ways we will die to see that the scriptures the scriptures reach the other side of this continent it's by sacrifice that we move it on and when sacrifice stops the kingdom stops advancing so i i preach to you again force him to bless you ah, ah. he touched his heart and he told me to open an account and i opened it in zenith bank right so when i go preach somewhere people say we are blessed can we have your account number i give you zenith before I came here, I had an alert. There. I have a minimum of three alerts on the average in a day. These are not people I preach to. These are not people. I don't even know them. I don't know where that spirits put money there. But you know what? When when that obedience, when that it was not that God requested it of me. I plugged in, and my name entered into the voucher. It translates in alert today. <laughs> I pay people school fees from that a lot. Yes. Plenty of people school fees. But it never goes to 80,000. Never. It's from that account my family fees. And you know, I, I like many people. My clan is large. We feed from that account. And it has never reached 80,000 for the past four years. If he can trust you with it, he will make it available. But you must register yourself with his sacrifice. This is how we do it. If I preach, if I tell you something else, then I lie because I know how God blesses men. There's no plan for you. Please help me tell your neighbor. There is no plan. Don't just wake up and go to the hills and, and say, We we look into the hills. Nothing we come. That's not how to do it. There is no plan. The politician left. From that day, I say there were two there were two such days in my life that I said I will never look to man again. First was my uncle. He was in Abuja. He was the director of finance villa under Yaradua. Comes home every week with 10 million in Ghana, Moscow. And I, when I say every week, I'm telling you the truth so much so that he went to a shrine and brought an age demo home say okay what do you get in the shrine all right we sign you up you come home gave him a room in his house so that we, his private practice <laughs> had so much money but before he gives you the money you must go and receive blessing from the demo Then I said, let it be far from me. You see, my dad, my earthly dad was a man of conviction. I think I learned that from him. Never to declare your conviction. I learned that from him. 
politicians came to my dad and said, you are an elder. Be attending our meeting at least to encourage us. They say you cannot sit in a company of old men that tell lies. That's how my, <laughs> that's how my dad is. He's too old for that. He's, he has a conscience. Sit in the congregation of, 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 scorn, of scorners. So I told him, let it be fire for me. And that was the day of my trouble. My, the day of my trouble began. Because every other day they want to get information about me. What was the source of that boldness? Hallelujah. Oh, my only God knows how far they went because of that statement. Let it be far 